Okay, here we're going to graph the function y equals negative 2 thirds times tangent x. We'll pick out the vertical asymptotes and the zeros as well. So tangent of x normally has asymptotes. Its first asymptote occurs at the first positive asymptote occurs at pi over 2 and I guess you could say the largest negative asymptote is at negative pi over 2 and the the graph of tangent, tangent has a period of pi, so every time we move over pi units, we're going to get another asymptote. So let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, let me try to keep it the scale here. That would be another asymptote. That would be at 3 pi over 2, and likewise, I'm not going to count exactly, but over here, at x equals negative, 3 pi over 2. Again, we'll have another vertical asymptote. So tangent normally will go through 0, 0, and this graph is certainly doing the same. As you move to the right, it increases and it decreases, but since we have negative 2 thirds, it's going to reflect that. So the graph is now going to go down and will go up. If you move over pi units, so here's x equals pi, again this graph is just going to repeat itself, and likewise at negative pi. Okay, so let's see, so the zeros in this case the zeros those are going to occur at multiples of pi. So we'll say pi times n, where n is an integer. And the vertical asymptotes, those are going to occur at x equals pi over 2 plus multiples of pi. So we'll say pi over 2 plus pi n, again, where n is an integer. If you wanted to, you could plot maybe even an extra point. So tangent at pi over 4 it normally goes through positive 1, but in this case it's going to go through at pi over 4 due to the, re the reflection it'll go through negative 2 thirds, and at negative pi over 4, so let's see if I can fit that in there, at negative pi over 4 it would be going through the point positive 2 thirds. So likewise negative pi over 4 comma 2 thirds would be a point on the graph, and this just keeps repeating forever and ever and ever.